terms of the whole phenomenon that's happening, the social networking sites, um, you know, there's a lot of debate going on, at least amongst the community that I know on Facebook, about whether it's haram or halal, whether it's got potential for dawah, whether it's got potential to propagate Islam, or whether it's something negative where the Muslim youth are getting misled by it. What's your view on that? There, there, in Islam, you have things that are haram and things that are uh, uh, wajib. I'm going to go to extremes. Things you must not do, things you must do. In between, there are a whole lot of categories because it's not just yes and no on everything. Most of the things in the dunya are already halal anyway. So if you're really sincere to Allah and you want to worship Him, it's on His terms. So anybody who's making up anything, I don't care if they made it up yesterday or if they made it up a thousand years ago or if they made it up the day after the Prophet died, it still is unacceptable mm -hmm. because it's not based on the Quran and the Sunnah. Make sense? So I'm saying everything's halal in this life unless you know it's wrong. Okay. And, and, and this is a, a big problem. You know, yeah. And when you've got people making money, and position and power mm. of saying haram, 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 you have to do it our way. And if it's not slaughtered like this, you can't eat it. If it's not this, you can't. But Allah said in the Quran, it's halal. Mm. But you're saying, no, it's not because. And you say, well, wait a minute. If you said, no, it's not, you have to have a big evidence now because Allah said clearly something is halal. Now you're coming back and saying, yes, but, yes, but, your yes, but better be pretty strong. Mm. Because if you say something about the Quran or the Hadith, which is not true, that can win you a seat in a hot place. I love the way that this discussion has been going on through the ages. I'm sure a thousand years ago they're having this same discussion. Like now, say Facebook and YouTube are like issues amongst the youth. And some of the youth are saying Facebook is haram because it's innovation, it's this, it's that. But, you know, there's, there's always these arguments left or right. Um, I'm glad that you've, like, helped clarify that because I certainly feel a lot more easier about using Facebook now, inshallah. But no, but here, let us come back the other way. I will tell you that a lot of stuff that's on Facebook, MySpace, and those kind of... Uh, what do you call social it? Social networking uh, sites. Social network sites. Uh, a lot of this stuff is haram because they're using it the wrong way. Mm. But if you said, uh, uh, give me that knife over there. Watch. If you said, okay, You're gonna stop me is, it, is, a knife, <laughs> is a knife is haram? It depends what you're going to do with it. Uh, this one was used for spreading jelly and butter. It can be used for cutting your food. It can be used for many wonderful things. But the minute somebody zooms and kill people, Okay, the knife itself never became a haram. Even when it was killing uh, an animal, killing some, what became haram is the one doing the action. The person with the intention behind it, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the person, he did something haram, but the knife is innocent. Yeah, and so the TV is innocent, the internet is innocent. All of these things are innocent from what you're doing, but you're the one doing it. So well, you have to be responsible. You only use Facebook, MySpace, any social network. Then use your brain before you start out. The pictures you want to put on there, are the pictures themselves acceptable? Is it something you would show to your mom? Is it something that you would uh, show to your dad? Is it something you would take in the masjid? And in many cases you say, well, not really, I wouldn't do that. Well, then think about it. And inshallah, that one was especially for the Facebook crowd here in the UK. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, brother Yusuf, we're going to have to move. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum.